Alright. Hopefully, that works right there. Good morning, everybody. Wait. You unmute yourself and you are. This person. All right. Good morning, everybody. Tell me what. <laughs> Let's, uh, good morning. I wore a whole of my shirt this morning. All right. What's up? What's up? So, let's go ahead and screen share. All right. So we'll give everybody just a few minutes here. We'll go ahead and get started uh, with the news as usual. Good morning, good morning. What's up? Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> All right. So just a few minutes here. We'll wait till 835 and we'll go ahead and get started with our news. And all that good jazz. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, what's up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? All right. So let's get started with the news. Um, brief over here. I'm going to go ahead and reshare this again. Uh, guys, we're on YouTube. Link is in bio here if you guys want to hop on um, with us. So. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and cover the main news. I know you guys probably, probably already see the markets are pretty red this morning. Uh, some of our inner bears here, 440 puts. If anybody swung those, um, those are obviously in the money. So, um, but uh, let's go ahead and go over our main headlines and get an idea of what we got going on going into today. So 
the S and P uh, Wall Street futures uh, were down as rising COVID nineteen cases uh, and the pace of the economic growth uh, hurt the sentiment. Um, let's see here. Sorry, pull up live trading chat for the Discord. Um, yeah, crypto is dumping. Or yeah, I've been seeing a lot of headlines on crypto pulling back pretty hard. So. Um, anyway, uh, European shares fell on concerns that major banks would start giving cues on tapering their pandemic era stimulus as various meetings, um, at various meetings this week, Asian equities ended mostly lower, though Japan, China, South Korean markets were closed for holidays. Uh, the dollar gained, uh, on safe haven appeal as a property developer Evergrande solvency spooked investors. Um, oil dropped as U.S. Gulf oil output uh, came back online in the wake of two hurricanes and gold prices were in positive territory. Um, good morning. <clears throat> yeah. Guys, I'm on YouTube now. If you guys want to hop on YouTube, uh, I can take a look at whatever uh, tickers you're looking at. Yeah, I don't really, I don't do Forex. Not, not very often. Um, so, yeah, we could absolutely bounce pretty hard. Um, so, uh, some top headlines this morning, guys, Pfizer and Biotech says data shown COVID-19 vaccine is safe and protective in kids. Pfizer and Biotech said their COVID-19 vaccine, uh, vaccine induced in most robust immune response in five to 10 year olds, and they plan to ask for authorization to use the vaccine in the, uh, in children in the age range in the United States, Europe, Europe and elsewhere as soon as possible. Um, so CVS to hire 2,500 or 25,000 ahead of flu season, COVID-19 boosters um, to uh, fill those COVID-19 boosters, uh, China, uh, to Wall Street regulatory crackdown not aimed at private or restricting private firms. Chi uh, China's sweeping regulatory crackdown in recent months does not aim to rein in the country's private enterprises or de decouple from the United States or international financial markets, a top a Chinese regulatory official told Wall Street leaders last week. Uh, Universal Studios Beijing draws eager throngs uh, amid uneasy China, U.S. China ties. The Universal Beijing Resort opened its doors to, uh, to the pandemic after a two decade wait, including delays because of the COVID 19 vaccine. Oof, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, um, other than that, guys, as far as top headlines, we did have Ford and General Motors. U.S. Auto Safety have opened a new probe into 30 million vehicles built by the two dozen automakers, uh, by nearly two dozen automakers with potentially defective Takata airbag inflators, uh, a government document seen by Reuters. The National Highway uh, Sa Traffic of Safety Administration on Friday opened an engineering analysis into the estimated 30 million U.S. vehicles from 2001 to 2019 years, automakers uh, were alerted to the investigation, which is not yet public on Friday. Uh, the new investigation includes vehicles assembled by Honda, Ford, Toyota, General Motors, Nissan, Subaru, Tesla, Ferrari, I already said Nissan, Mazda, Dalmayer, uh, BMW, Chrysler, Porsche, uh, Jaguar, Land Rover, and uh, a few others. Who's that? What was that? Did I hear something? Oh, we're, I'm tripping. I'm hearing things. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so other than that, we have... I'm looking at, I don't really see any top headlines. I just see t Tesla, the U.S. National Transportation Safety Board, said on Friday will send a team to investigate the Tesla vehicle crash this week that killed two people in Coral Gables, Florida. Uh, Coral Gables police have said it's unclear whether the Tesla Model 3 involved in the crash uh, in a residential area on Monday was using the electric vehicle's company driver assisted system called Aut Autopilot. The two people killed were badly burned uh, and have not yet been positively identified so um
that's about it for that. Yeah, it's crazy. How about root? I can take a look at root. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over our major ETFs to see exactly where we're at uh, in the grand scheme of things. So first of all, there's a there's a gap all right on the four hour gaps get filled gaps on spy get filled um now granted we are pulling back my target last week was 440 uh we have lost way more than 440 and that does put us below that 50 ema that everybody was so spooked out about well uh that we're pretty pretty far below that but the thing is is once we've dropped so far be uh, below a major support like that it's oftentimes we'll reverse and retest it so if we even did retest that which i will say like i said there is a, a gap still there at, to 440 but even if we did retest the level that we broke um that would still be a considerable bounce today so uh don't try and fomo into any short positions um we're going to take this as it comes. I've gotten a lot of alerts today. Uh, I saw that UPS has entered its gap um, to the downside. So there may be a potential here uh, after the gap is filled, um, potentially to take this one to the downside. Uh, but uh, anyway, with SPY, um, I'm watching for a rebound back up to uh, 435. I'll see how it behaves there. If it has strength, volume, people, I already see that buy the dip is trending on Tesla or on Twitter. Um, really glad. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the Airbnb puts. Um, and uh, we'll take a look at that one here in just a minute. So uh, I, me and Heck Diesel signaled that last week. So if you guys grab those Airbnb puts, you're going to be starting off the green. There we go. All right. Oops. All right. Um. So. Other than that, we got the cues. Uh, the cues definitely took a beating. Uh, one thing I don't like to see usually is the uh, gaps that have already been filled. And you'll notice here that that gap has been filled. This wick has gone and retested. Uh, so we may actually see, um, and, and also on top of that, guys, we are currently at that standard deviation line that we talked about last night. So having a bounce of some sort is not out of the question. Um, I was kind of eyeballing this this morning. I do think that if we could end up using this week uh, in this range to, to chop. So um, don't get overzealous. Let's make sure uh, that we're remembering the rules that profits are only made by reacting to the market, not trying to predict it's every single move. So, um, all righty. And also, I mean, if that standard deviation is broken um, on the standard or that linear regression is broken, then my price target uh, moves down to the 356. So um, is this where the U.S. Comp uh, U.S. economy finally collapses? No, that's no. Not yet. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to look at root. I just wanted to make sure that um, I covered these ETFs really quickly. Um, yeah, we've got the Dow. Uh, that one actually has lost uh, not, not, not that much ground here so far, uh, but below th uh, 30, uh, 345. Uh, we will. So uh, IWM, um, this one's retesting. This one definitely looks like it's primed for some sort of bounce um, and retest potentially at 219. So uh, it's going to be, yeah, I agree with Manny. It's going to be a hell of a day. So, um, okay. Uh, so let's take a look at Root really quickly. It's 845. We've got plenty of time here. Um, 
All right, so the daily time frame has got root uh, pretty pretty well contained um, in this descending wedge, which is obviously uh, long term a reversal pattern. Um, so this does look good to potentially reverse. It does have that nice price consolidation, but it can, with the market conditions, go down without the right energy. So in my opinion here, uh, volume has increased. Uh, you are seeing a, a firing off of that TTM on the daily, uh, the four hour, excuse me, the hourly um it's kind of giving you a good idea of where a smaller time frame downtrend is right here in order to break so you're going to want to break that downtrend right there excuse me i need to uh, move that up so yeah so you're going to want to break above this 200 right here so i would say anywhere above 650 uh with some good volume and a catalyst route may see uh movement there but we already see a sharp rejection off of that pump there so definitely a well-contained um uh stock here so um okay so got root um what do i think about sqqqq uh, looks like it's got an inverse head and shoulders um, to some extent. So you have a shoulder type setup there. This is not really a, a great setup as far as the shoulder, but um, I would either either that or you could go all that just that rounded bottom look. So you got a nice rounded bottom here. Uh, you are retesting the very same level that you broke. Um, that's usually always going to happen in these situations. So uh, if the queues continue to fall, which if any sector would fall or see less of a bounce, it would probably be the queues. Um, then I would anticipate uh, a pullback to this same level that it's retesting and then potentially climbing to the top of what would be your demand zone there. So, um, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so y'all know uh, that I am watching um, UPS. Uh, as I said before, this one is breaking into the gap. If anybody has UPS puts or anything of that nature, um, my target was 185. So that was 50% of that gap on the daily. Um, but I also was anticipating for this to happen before we broke support. So we've actually broken support and the 200 day EMA is at 185.50 on uh ups i do believe we'll see a small bounce there once we close back below 185 i will take it down for the remainder of the gap for a five dollar move uh probably going out at least uh a month or three weeks um on those contracts so uh anyway uh that is it uh for ups fiverr uh we talked about this one last night still a lot of gap to fill uh, but here in pre-market, uh, it's making a new gap above it. So, um, like everything else, kind of pulling back. Um, Lulu, uh, this one had a nice gap down here, but still showing a bit of a residual strength, uh, retesting the zone below it at 415. So, I'll be watching that one. Um, hold on one second. Come in. Hey, what's up? Oh my god. Yes, they see your sock hands. Nice sock hands. So your sock hands says that's actually AMC. Bye, baby. All right. Sorry. Go ahead, dude. <laughs> uh, not much. I'm just saying some gap uh, support in bulls. So we're getting a couple bigger gap down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, I'm looking at some pre-market movers here. It looks like UVXY, EDSA uh, are two of the top movers. Uh, e EDSA Biotech is up about fifty percent during pre-market. Um, EDSA. Yeah, big, big, big old pop there. Big old brain dingus. But this one looks like a pump and dump often. Yo, um, you have your phone near you? Uh, it's streaming right now. Oh, okay. Perfect. All right. Um, what are you watching this morning? 
besides that. Just a couple of biotech footage, but I don't, I, I'm just going to kind of wait for the first 15 minutes, maybe decide what I'm going to do, because there's so much movement right now on a lot of uh, biotech and large caps, like small caps and large caps, that I don't know if I feel comfortable jumping into a trade right off the bat right now, especially with their potential to be some decent sized margin calls because the drop we had was so big overnight. It's a massive drop. And yeah. you can't not drop that much and not have margin calls. It makes sense, especially with the margin call limitations that they put in place last quarter. Yeah. So. Uh, that's that if, if there if those limitations weren't put in place, then I wouldn't worry as much. And I'd be like, ah, you know, we'll be all right. But it's just that's the that's the only thing I'm worried about. Oh, I wonder, I wonder how hard we bounce or if we bounce because the cues we have a gap on spy all the way to it's it's a small one, but it's four forty. And 439.50, like that's a lot of ground to recover. And then to test downtrend, you'd have to go all the way to 442. So I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't think it'll happen. Either. What we've seen on October and November of last year, I think that's exactly what we're in. I think it's going to be a, a, close to a mirror image of that. So you're gonna sit in these two months of like a big W where it's just a chop fest gap down, gap up. Yeah. And then you're gonna go into December with like insane opening pressure. This is I think going back to March is the last time that we closed below the two hundred day EMA. Um Let's see, back in, you said October, right? I'm just looking at that. Yeah, October and November. That, if you look, we tend to well below the 50. We get the 500 gauge survey. At the um, bottom? I think that's a 500, sorry, that's the, that's a 500. I'm looking at a different chart, so the colors of my uh, moving averages change. That's a good, actually, that was my number of Apple calls. I don't know. I'm not playing. I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to be eager to jump into anything immediately. Um, I like Lulu and Roku potentially, but um, BIG. G. Wait, is that BIGG? Is that what you're talking about? No, B, B big is BIG. That might be a different picture. Which one do you want me to look at, Marino? Because BBIG has like a uh, perfect head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. It's going to be. Yeah, like yeah, I would say, I would say uh, $5.50 is where you're heading here relatively soon. Uh, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Um, a firm is breaking support here in pre-market. So you're already opening a candle. You've broken out of a pennant. Uh, you will probably go and touch your 50. It's not too far away, but right around 104. Uh, you'll, you'll notice that this is a, a, a higher time frame support here. So I would look for that, that uh, bounce there. So uh, Microsoft. I don't know, but that matcha powder. I'm not doing that shit no more. What is that? It's like green tea powder or something. It's got me shit deep down. It's got me, did you say it's got me fitting deep down? No, it's got me geeked out. Oh, geeked out. I thought you said shitting deep down. I was like, all right, bro. <laughs> all right, that day off, like, cool. Well, um, yeah, I had a feeling that was what uh, Microsoft is opening the day with a ga uh, gap here, a uh, small one above you. Looks like that gap is from 199.50 to 197.96. Uh, it is at the previous, um, I think you'll retest 
fill that gap and then drop down to uh, 29150. So you you are at the linear regression line, um, and it's it's probably highly likely that you see a bounce as well. So uh, Tesla is down twenty eight dollars twenty eight points. Uh, Tesla has actually a terrible setup here. Uh, it looks like a head and shoulders. I don't know if anybody else says that sees that. Just so you guys don't uh, think I'm making it up. Here, here it is. Lies. Fake, fake news. Look at how bad that looks. Look at the reversal pattern, dude. I almost swung. We covered this this weekend. I almost swung puts out of that reversal pattern there. Yeah, the run. All the way back. Yep. And then it just reversed, went back to that 5%. Okay, it's at the 500 HMA here, but I still have the target right now of 705, uh, 707.86, which is a 200 AEMA, um, 710, so. Um, all right, so I also am going to keep my eyes, if we do bounce, I was going to keep my eyes on Etsy, um, but then I was kind of looking at the setup here on the daily, and uh, thinking that one might actually drop to back down to 215 212 so i'm going to stick to focusing on a couple of shorts uh i did want to mention guys that x steel um iron ore um if you guys saw the headline last night coming out of china is drastically dropping um so that raw material uh definitely affected the steel market if you guys go look at steel here uh you dropped from that 23 dollars mark all the way to uh 2187 i think one of our members who only he didn't exclusively play steel but that's one of his things that he, he trades uh i know he was in puts so he's gonna have a short day hopefully um and then, do materials are down for us so yeah again. Yeah, steel's going to 21 to, to I think, for a bounce there. So, uh, sound check. Uh, those of you on YouTube, can you guys hear me and Atlas okay? I don't have my headphones on this morning, which I usually do, but I bought, I have crisp for a reason. It mutes background noise. Yeah, so it's actually installed into Discord. So it's the same thing that you use on Discord, but it's not free outside of that. Yeah, yes. All right. Um, what time is it? It's only 8.58. We got 30 minutes to the bell. What do we do with yeah, that? Uh... <laughs> uh uh, the have feel free if you guys don't mind um uh those of you on youtube if you guys want to reshare this but uh, if you guys have any tickers those of you in discord want me to take a look at anything here in pre-market happy to do so um on friday like really bullish call flow like 80 percent call flow bullish and 20 percent bearish it, look, at, look at a rebound here in pre-market mm -hmm. Well, I'll go traded, but God, dog, man, Chamon, he got too we amped up. Bro. Yeah, you know, Microsoft has an hourly gap. I actually like that gap fill to two ninety nine. I think I might, I might take that. I'm gonna go find this downtrend. Uh, so close, dude. You know what? I I I was thinking about this. The Chamon when that whole thing was going down, and he was like, "I'm about to fuck shit up." You know, he was all, yeah. Gay. Bro, he reminded. I was just gonna say, he reminded me of like those kids in like high school, like on the football team, they get like way too amped, you know, and like like wait, like just get so gassed up, they were like punching each other, and just to like go out there and get crushed, you know, like <laughs> that just reminded me of it, like. He was like, so he was like, I'm on fuck shit. And then just like step one leg out the door, bro. <laughs> he crumbled. Crumbled. 5%. Ethereum's down 6% of the day. That's the Bitcoin FUD, right? Oh! Listen. Listen, dude. This is ugh, technical analysis, bro. It's so wild. Futures. 
futures drop over 1% on growth worries focused for the Fed. All right. What was so, that about? Maybe who said the part in here yesterday, the calendar, Let's pull it up because I need to pin that for the market as well. So the meeting tomorrow is uh so house starts in Vermont. Oh, it doesn't say what time the FOMC meeting is. It just says it's tomorrow. I, I, here's what I'm thinking, bro. And it's really speculative, and obviously people can decide to do what they want to do. If we, if we continue to pull back today, um, I am contemplating swinging calls if we don't find a bottom by 11. That's good. If by 11 p.m. we don't have a bottom on SPY or anything else, by the end of the day, I will swing calls. Oh, uh, oh, funny. Because I don't expect the Fed to taper tomorrow, to announce tapering tomorrow. My Here's why. There's two reasons why I don't expect the Fed to taper. Number one, the debt ceiling is super high. We don't have enough cash. If they cut off the money printer, the government's not going to have money to spend, right? So, Going into a potential session where the Senate and the House are going out, and they're the ones that decide and vote on raising the debt ceiling, you need the money printer to be running full speed ahead, especially if you're at a very high amount of reserve, which we've had insanely high reverse repos, right? Reverse repos is where the banks hold on, uh, can't hold on to cash overnight because they have too much cash. We have never seen a trillion dollars. We've been almost like it's 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 insane how high the rent. It's it's insane how high the Fed reverse repo is, and it's money that the banks cannot hold overnight, and it sits with the Fed. And then look, if the debt ceiling is hit and the government doesn't extend it right away, the Federal Reserve can tap into cash that they have. That's perfect. If they start tapering and they talk about it now, they're not allowed to do that. Yeah. Right? Depending on when they say the execution date is. So my thoughts are that they don't taper tomorrow and they announce tapering in November. If they even taper. Because I'm just kind of in the camp that they might not taper at all, bro. I think they might not taper until like 2023 at the end of it. Um, there, there's, there's a theory out there called the money milkshake theory. And essentially what it says is... Does it bring all the it, boys to the yard? Sorry. It brings all, it brings all the boys to All the Fed boys. <laughs> says that if you're printing money as a country, and then all the other countries are printing money, but they're not growing as an economy at the same rate you're growing, if your currency is their support currency, right, which the USD is a support currency for all other uh, economies, eventually they're, they're printing so much of their own money at a lower or at a worse rate than they're actually growing as an economy, it creates a gap to where they're going to need more USD to back their own currency, just like they do now. So it's it's an interesting theory. Does it always play out? It's played out once in the past. We'll have to see if it plays out in this go round. Um, if it does, that means we're gonna have a ton of potential deflation. That's so, good though. We need that, right? That would be great. That would be great. But we have to be careful because it can drive the economy into like a rut if you have too much deflation. So at that point, how do you counteract the deflation with more money printing? So it's it's a messy situation and it's very complex, but just to shorten it off here, I don't think the Fed's gonna announce paper tomorrow. If they do and they could clear here, but I can't predict the future. I'm just going off of assumptions and estimates of like what I've been kind of seeing in the market. I could be completely wrong. But if the money if the if the money, if the Fed does the paper tomorrow, then we're gonna get this little bounce on spy. I, I don't I don't think they're gonna paper, man. I don't think they would. That's just, it's my personal opinion here, guys, not financial advice. I already took it. That's fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, so, Roku introduces all new Roku streaming stick. Nice. 
Uh, yeah, so Gink DNA, Gink, uh, Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings. Bro, in, unless they had a split, which I hope they did, they went from $95 and gapped down to $11. No way. I just posted that in the chat, bro. You, I got to figure out what's going on here. Because if that's the case, I'm going to buy the dip just for the bounce. Like, that shit could bounce to like 26, dude. Like, that, that's, bro, uh, $95 and it gaps down to $11.50, bro. Can you imagine being a single shareholder? I own 100 shit, bro. What happened here? Bro, I would be so upset. I'd be, I, dude. That that's where I'd be like calling investor relations, like all of those settlement things. Like you know, I'd be like calling the settlement office. Daily doesn't look like a lot. The daily doesn't update until the market open. Well, the daily says that the high is eleven dollars. Oh, that's weird. Mm -hmm. And the four hour doesn't. Yeah, the all oh, but look all at the. High Look at four. The four immediately shows you the the ninety four dollars, and that was on. Oh, oh dude, no! Why does it say March? Oh nine. You know what I bet, Ezra? I bet you it's a, a ticker that used to belong to another company, and they just reused it. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah, because I mean, this was March nineteenth, trading at ninety four dollars, and then just disappears. It's rid of a ticker symbol, and they switch layers. They become, and they sell the rights to it, and somebody else can use it, like Sony. Maybe S N E is it? It'll probably be an S N E. Uh, so. Just to reiterate, everybody, I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take Microsoft above 297 and with the target to fill the gap at 290. I'm going to be out before the gap fills 299.25. Uh, uh, I'm going to stay away from Apple uh, just because I'm, I'm kind of a perma bear on that shit. Um, I, I can't. I'm just, I would. I would love to switch my sentiment, but I can't. Uh, that one likely will go for a retest of 145 as well. But this one, y'all. This one is getting, and if anybody swung 135 puts, I'm not taking profit. All right, so I'm not taking profit on those. I will maybe roll them um, or take profit on like one, but I'm not taking profit on that full size position. I still hold the 135 target um, on what? I mean, Apple. Oh, no, Apple, uh, Airbnb, dude. No, I'm out of that shit at the bell, dude. Um, <laughs> that one's a few points away from where I have support marked at, uh, 159. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm happy with the, the, I do, I'm really happy with that. What the fuck? <laughs> like, uh, we swung, huh? Your target on Apple, you said 135? Yeah. What my target is the bottom of, a, of the standard deviation channel. Yeah. 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 It, uh, it's, it's about one of the cleanest. It's like Microsoft's. It's perfect. You know, like it, it trades within them. Are you going to trade or are you going to hold? Uh, the 135s, I, I'll take a, I'll take, mm -hmm. uh, it depends, honestly. Uh, I know that we're going to move up, so I'm going to lose premium on it. But for yeah. me, for me, I'm looking at the overall setup. It's got to fill that gap. And for any, if anything, it's just going to be the retest of the actual break, breakdown. But it's below, well below the, the, so you have the standard deviation channel, then the linear regression in the middle. It's well below that linear regression. So it's going to retest and then climb back down. I'm out long, so I mean, I'm 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 good on holding. It, I'm gonna secure profits if it if it's like the premiums are pumped up. I'll take a few off the table, uh, and I'll play the upside. Use those premiums, or I'll use play the upside on Microsoft, other spy like tickers, uh, and then I'll use those premiums to maybe grab another uh, figure towards the end of the day. So. I would, I would say you're, I, I can see you like chopping there for a few days. So if you roll your puts out maybe a week or two after, you probably need about it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, star. Star right here up at the top. Um, hold on a second. Oh, did you get to see that? So 
if you look right there, um, you're at support. So below 25, uh, star will probably flush back down to 24, uh, even back down to that, that little supply zone down there. So, um, I mean, demand zone, excuse me. You're going to uh, retest that demand zone at $24. So you got that reversal. You, you need a bounce. If you bounce, then you can break, but I'm anticipating a pullback on that one. So, um, again, uh, if you guys didn't hear me, um, UPS is in the gap. So uh, that one has a gap above it now on the four hour, uh, which I'm not quite sure if it won't continue to fall um, and then just bounce and fill its gap later on. But um, EDSA is starting to curl a little bit. Atlas, if you want to take a look at that one. EDSA. EDSA. Uh, yeah. Evangelical. Um, Delhi salami apple. Bro, I thought you were gonna say that was a new I don't see that. No, I'm, I'm, I was, I've been ever since we started listening to the Benzinga guy, like he's really good at acronyms and it, and it you know, it just hurts. So, uh, you know, I just, I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to be yeah. up. It's, it's, it's pushing up here now. So, uh, Western Digital Option Call. Oh, no, I didn't type that in. Right. Uh, who is Harry Horton? Revert. I don't know. Oh my God. Twitter announced proposed settlement of consolidated class action lawsuit to pay $809.5 million. <laughs> I was like, 809 Yeah. 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 For claims alleging violations of sections 10B and 20A of Security Exchange Acts of 1934. Wow, they're getting penalized for <laughs> 1934 coming to whoop that ass. Um, Roku unveils the new streaming stick. Uh, Roku has a daily setup that's worth looking at. Um, and again, guys, Airbnb profit taking will be occurring for your boy. Yeah, that one showed a lot of residual strength there, or uh, relative strength, residual strength. Shit, Resi just just what was ever left just came out. Um, yeah, it's got a nice four hour uh, firing on that TTM. I, it can drop one more time. If it does drop, it, it and I'll show you. I yeah, I've got I've got two ninety three seventy. Yep. It's kind of hyper bear over here. You're two, two ninety three. Two ninety three. I'll show. I'll show you the setup that I'm looking at. So. No, okay. I, I think that's probably more than you. Oh, you have two eighty seven. Oh, nice. Yeah. Here, here's the the setup here. Did I? I think I signaled those in my channel. Oh, no. Yeah, you see that? I see that. So, so right now, retest, um, I'm thinking a, a retest of like 327, 328. You could even shoot up and hit three, 331, somewhere in that range. That's the 50 EMA, 332.50. If we break past that, then that's our bottom, and we possibly reverse there. If we reject and the Qs fill their gap and fall back down, then maybe we go and we trade a little bit lower. But that sentiment could give it a good bounce. Um, ABBV reports submission of regulatory application to FDA. I'm not even, gonna, I would try, uh, risk uh, wow. I almost died trying to say that word. Uh, let's try it. I'm going to put this in the chat so you guys know that I'm not making it up. That's it. Uh, ABBV, uh, let me, let me, here, here's the, here's the word. You want to say that for me? Tell me, tell me what that word is. Riskank his symptoms. <laughs> yeah, for treatment of patients 16 years of moderate to severe Crohn's disease. Yeah. ABBLPD. Uh, oh, ABBV. Sorry, ABBV. ABBV, yeah. 
You gotta say it three times or you'll curse for 69 years. <laughs> Egyptians don't play about their curses. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, you want to take me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, All right, 15 minutes, guys. Get your cheeks ready. <laughs> this is about to some, some real tense action. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for it. I, I like Microsoft for a quick... Oh, man. This thing's just going to go do it in pre-market. As soon as I said that, it broke resistance. You stupid Microsoft. Oh, no, it didn't. It tapped re uh, resistance. Okay, we're cool. All right. Grace, great reset is upon us. That sounds a little dramatic, but I, I get your drift. That's somebody on... Uh, on... Uh, disc, uh, TikTok. Tick tock. Dude, dude. Tick tock. No, no. Tell them if they can take ten back on three dollars. I'm I'm fine with the the great reset. That'd be sick. Yeah, if they could take every all right. of the if we could just reset, bro, that'd be sick. I'd play plug, blink. I would totally right. break risk management. <laughs> every, everything's out the window. Yeah. Right. We are we at if yeah if we have that reset we will be the the greatest investor in generation to ever have existed ever. All right, ah, dude, matcha powder is not to be fucked with. Uh, really strong. Yeah, I think I might be extra sensitive to caffeine because everything kind of makes my soul like vibrate. You should. Yeah, I, I, but and bros, yeah, bros. The no, I think I took a long break and like decaffeinated uh, myself. Um, so um, hold on one second. I gotta help somebody out. Get back into the chat. Oh shit. Is anybody in any calls that they swing? Anybody swing calls or anything bad? I Oh, I um, I have three. I have three contracts. I have POTR forty out to I think for July of next year, for June of next year. Hold on, pull my um, my uh, my options account. I'm seeing your orders are. In June of next year, BLTR 40s. Um, I have Fubo long as well, out to the middle of next year. And then I have. What the hell, word? I saw another bleep, but it's not on this account. I think it's in another. Well, let me open it up my other account. Nope, no, I guess I, I guess I closed out whatever else I had. I, yeah. I thought I had a third leap in something else, but I just move on PLTR. Which I'll be down on those a little bit because I was actually up on the PLTR slate. I was up a decent little bit. I was up like 25%. <laughs> I wasn't green on Fubo. I was like almost break even. So I'll be right on that. Uh, sure, I'll look at it. I don't know. Uh, I, yeah. 
is a, they're trying to squeeze it. It's like fourth. It's like tenth on the list of things that could be squeezed. So I know who's playing IVC. IVC. It's uh, uh, Wall Street Dwarf dude. Uh, he's he's pumped some out of the money contracts. I made a whole video about it, but uh, he. Oh. The... Yeah. Yeah, so he, he did that on IBC, but they're trying to squeeze it, so they have, like, some logic behind the play, but uh, it's, a it's like, literally last on the list of heavily short stocks, so. I haven't checked. I, I haven't checked the flow, but it's 30%, but there's others, others that are nearing 50 and 60. Oh! <laughs> All right. I need to log into Trade Station needs to buy the Are we crashing hard or what? FML. What's going on, Frank? Don't do that. Leverage. Leverage is bad. Be careful. Leverage is good Extreme. when trying to lift heavy rocks. <laughs> now, dude, there's this dude on YouTube who like moves like Stonehenge type, like, uh wood with just by himself like stone hedge like just using leverage it's pretty sick yeah dudes yeah that's pretty sick Look up Coral Castle and the guy who put it together. Okay. Coral Castle. Builder. All right, I'm a little confused. Are you talking about the old guy? Like, are you going to tell me that I look like this old man? Yeah, what what about it? The one oh the one man how one man created a uh, oh whoa. Coral Castle. That guy built that all by himself. Oh, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. I thought you were gonna make a joke. That's pretty interesting, actually. Nice. Oh look at UPS! Oh my god. Dude UPS just filled its gap. It's funny, man. Like some tickers, especially ones that I was expecting, like really, really huge gap downs on, did not have them. like the entity he had brought over your gap down that I anticipated would have. But I mean, you know why I think that is? You remember for about like three or four weeks, we just saw the uh, indices gonna just like trend up, but stocks gonna just in place. Yeah, people were spending a lot of their money the indices, and now I think like there's some balancing going on. And obviously, people freaking out. They're selling indices, but the stocks are being affected badly because a lot of people went to indices with the stocks. <laughs> yeah. There's one that I'm watching that's like really, really cheap right now. And I think it's just like a really good long hold. It's a growth play, but it's a really good company. Um, UiPath, Path, 
63 bucks. You talking about Path? So we have, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, the AI on that has got me tweaking right now, dude. I kind of want to play that. The AI? Oh, the bot? The bot, uh, bot signal that one on Friday. Yeah, I went and charted it. It's got a reversal pattern. Uh, as soon as it clears above 54, 55, I'm going to take a position on that. I, dude, I think this can go back up to the 70. Easily. Not like right away. I think it'd be, you know, a, a multi day play. But the way it's set up, it looks like it's just ready to. Yeah, also. Did you see the amount of selling volume, or not selling volume, sorry. Uh, well, I think it was selling volume that came in on the very last hour of the day, and it just held. Mm -hmm. It literally just sat there and held, and the volume was nuts. Yeah. Man. All right, can we just get it over with? Can we just dump? We should have done it. We should should have this ages ago. Why? Fed, bro. It's all about the Fed. Instead, we let we let Papa Powell sweep us out of our feet with his money printer. Papa. It's all his fault. You wrapped me into this. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to short the economy. Papa Potter, I'm scared. I've never heard that one before. Papa. <laughs> No, but he he calls me Potter Stocks, dude. When we're playing video games, he's like, "Come on, Potter Stocks." I'm like, "I'm your dad, dude." You just like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tesla filled its gap. I'm sorry, but the thing has a bear flag. It looks short to me. I look at the look at the TTM squeeze too. It's mid squeeze on that that one, and I really is that what you short? I guess you're gonna have some Tesla long. Yeah. <laughs> My entire watch list of fifty stocks is red. Sundial's green in pre market. No, it's not. Never mind. I don't know. It's a big move for IWM. It's possible. I don't see why not, but. Good morning from Phoenix, Arizona. Hello, Phoenix. I, I heard there was no Arizona. There's only a few people who are going to get that. <laughs> All right. Um those of you on YouTube, please remember that you guys are delayed, so I wouldn't try and scalp with us too much. Yeah, that would be nice. Well, they should be they should be looking at their setup too. So hopefully, hopefully, anyway. All right, uh, I'm ready to go. Um, like I said, it might take uh, Microsoft to that gap. Um, uh, also taking profit on uh, uh, Airbnb. So. Heck. Hello? Where the heck are you? I didn't even realize I was God. All right, uh, guys. Um, taking, uh, I'm going to scout Microsoft, I think, uh, 297.50s, waiting for a bounce here. Yeah. 
Yo, uh, Airbnb though, beautiful, yo. Sixty percent on the on the on this week's. All right, I'm looking at uh, right now. These contracts are at three forty five, two ninety seven fifty is on Microsoft. Microsoft hasn't broken my trend line. I haven't entered yet. Um, Apple, nice strong wick off of one forty three. Okay, watch for a bounce here on Microsoft. There's no way they let that sucker go. Two ninety five bounce. Watch for two ninety five. Or yeah, two ninety five bounce. I uh, haven't taken. That's only for the gap fill. Yeah, I'm looking to take Microsoft for the gap fill and wait for the bounce. Um, Tesla. That thing just big green dingus. Spy just. Oh, Apple! Look at Apple! Look at that wick. One forty-five. Uh, watch this one to hit one forty-four forty here. Wow, Tesla can't do a lot of resistance. It's a really just said. Bye. All right. Um, I'm gonna grab one. Uh, I'm gonna grab uh calls on Microsoft here, 395, 297. Order field. All right, I'm not in heavy, but I'm in in a good size position here. Uh, just going for the gap fill here. First first target right now is two ninety seven uh, thirty five. My stop loss is two ninety six forty, below the fifty EMA here, and uh, I'll cut that trade. So, um, all right. Yeah, Netflix just went green. Really? Oh, there we go. There we go, baby. <laughs> Yuck. Yeah, Netflix just went green. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Sorry. I love that shit. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, take a little profit off the table, baby. Order, Order filled. filled. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gracias. All right, gap fill occurs, 297. Hold on, where's the gap fill? The gap fill is 299. Let this five-minute candle close. Great job on there. Thanks for the likes, y'all, there on TikTok. Appreciate that. All right, uh, we'll pull back there. Anybody? Uh, yes, Nadim. Nadim, I, I, it's too late now. You can't take the call. Uh, you're gonna have to wait just a second for a pullback before it's not. It's not enough of a a mar. It, <clears throat> you don't want to wait for a pullback, but I, I just wouldn't enter anything heavy. Um, you're getting a much later fill than I am. So, um, so you entered already. Microsoft. He already. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I thought you were asking if you could enter now. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, I'm still in. Um, I, I took profit right at the pre-market highs. So right at 298, I went ahead and trimmed some contracts off. Uh, and now I'm going to wait and see if we can get this gap fill. So, yeah. Order filled. Microsoft's nasty with its wicks. Oh. It is nasty with its wicks. Let's see how this candle closes. We got 31 seconds for this candle to close. Um, very rarely are we really going to leave a gap above us like that. If you guys take profit already, then great job. Thanks, Nee. Appreciate it. Uh, you guys, even if you took profit, you, you're green um, right there at that pre-market high. I'm, I'm still holding here. Uh, again, my stop loss candle closed below 296.50 uh, here. Let's see, what are the Qs doing? Qs are holding up, wick down there. All right, there we go, back up. Let's come on, push it back up there, Microsoft. There we go, 297. All right, if you're green right now and you want to trim exposure, this is when you do so. Uh, but I, I'm... I'm 
I'm holding strong here, my friends. I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and trim a little bit more off. Order, Order filled. filled. There you go. That's healthy. I'm in a healthy relationship with Microsoft. No, I'm not. Uh, Lulu. Oh, shit. I forgot about that relationship. We're going to leave that alone. Uh, sorry, Affirm. Uh, I have that one still uh, not quite yet near support. You still got 106 for my, in my opinion. Uh, watch S&P move for high day here. Uh, Microsoft going but but bananas. What a wick down to 195. I'm pretty I'm pretty confident we're gonna go for the gap though, but it's it, it, it's it's highly unlikely that we leave a gap. A, like a, a a dollar gap above us. I mean, this is a bread and butter gap fill, so I doubt we. I think uh, one of my he owns a different dis uh, chat, but I, I like one of his um his page and his styles stuff like that. But uh, he he calls it the gap and crap, which I thought was pretty funny. You just gap down and keep falling. <laughs> Yeah, they have a shipping service called Shippo, and their logo is a hippo. All right, guys. <laughs> Go put that gap here. Tesla printer. Oh, no. PLTR broke it. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's get, all right, you guys are back, back, back green, nice and green here. There we go. Shish. There we go. Do it. And you come on, pre market highs. All right, no idea what went up. Like it. Looks like you're buying a call 345 limit 297.5. I'm familiar with this broker. That is uh, Think or Swim? I think, I think so, bro. I've never seen that before. But the, the gap fill is 299, but I'm not taking it to 299. I'm, or I'm not, t it's 299. I've got it at 299.32, 40, actually, excuse me. Uh, I'll, t I'll take profits at 299.10. 10. Pretty much 299. I'm waiting to take profit right now. I'm waiting for it. And it's struggling to break it. Uh, we've got there. We've got one minute and twenty eight seconds here on Microsoft. This is bread and butter right here. So I'm just waiting to eat my bread. All right, and ooh, there we go. We're above pre market highs. Let's go ahead and get that push. Fill that gap. What's a UI? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, what is the AI yeah, calling? IWM puts Facebook call toy. Give me my money, Microsoft. <laughs> Give me my money, Microsoft. My kids need more apples, Microsoft. Come on. I have a family. Two ninety nine. I'm being impatient. This is looking great. <laughs> uh if you guys want, again, uh like I said, I trim into strength. I don't wait for the target to get smashed because then rejections will come. So get ready. Fingers on the trigger. Come on. You got this, Microsoft. Oh, it's really struggling with this 298. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. I hope it doesn't go and like pull back and then take all day to go and fill the gap. All right, we're pulling back here on Apple. Uh, what Microsoft is holding up. Four minutes and 24 seconds here left in this five minute candle. What are we looking like on the one minute? Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and be okay with this trade. There we go. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the majority of my position here. Ready? Now. Order, Order filled. filled. All right. You guys can trip exposure. If it goes further, it goes further. I just could start to feel my nerves. Uh a little bit right there for some reason starting to feel a little weird um i didn't want to risk it 298.50 great job that's honestly uh we i don't know when you guys snag this but that first initial pop was a good play second pop recovery uh, i'm going to keep watching this for you guys 299.15 was the last target um, I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, if you guys have runners, 299.15 would be where I take profit. I don't, I don't wait for the gap to get filled. And oftentimes things like Microsoft, Tesla, Apple will fill their gap very quickly. Nice. $76 profit. Yo, small profits better than, yeah, that's amazing. And right now the market's kind of being wonky. So, uh, I do suspect now that I'm looking at Microsoft, Microsoft's looking kind of crazy. Uh, looking at that wide, almost got like that wide mouth open here. Firm bouncing pretty strong. Did it hit support? Oh, Tesla. Oof. That's a wing rehearsal. Yeah. Not yet. So I want to show you this. Tell me what you think about a firm chart right here. So I've got, I've got a smaller time frame. This is a four hour. I've got the smaller time frame here. Um, it's in live trading chat now. So, any questions, guys? Yeah, I think we. I think it. It right now. You're you're pushing up against like your whole. Your you opened up at one twelve, which is below support. So I'm not quite sure. If no, go ahead. Uh, that could be pretty bullish since the market's down and the game stop, game stop. Meme stocks tend to rally when the market's down. So just watch, watch she, I mean. It's moving. Uh, all right. Second bounce here on Microsoft, I think. Or third bounce, I think. Is it really? Yeah. Do you take profit on those? Those were green at the bell, dude. Those were nice. Um, Apple still has a gap on the four hour that it has yet to fill. Be careful. Just throwing that out there. So, all right. Uh, Microsoft gap fill coming. I think maybe right here. Hey, 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 maybe that's a bounce. Two ninety eight thirty six. All right. Any of you still in Microsoft? Let me know, please. I don't know if you guys have noticed something about I say it all the time, but I I really don't like playing gaps above me. Like I I can't I. It's from learning my lesson, right? I lost money doing it and I tried to short things. Trust me, Nicola was a real, real experience for me. And a lot of the people who watched me go through that, but like that, that was one of those situations where I learned like gaps will get filled, you know, like even if you don't want them to, they will. So, um, yeah, I just try not to short uh gaps all right those of you still in microsoft uh like i said i got out early but the play still looks valid uh i think you have one last leg up here nice. yeah nice job manny i don't think he's online but that's awesome there will be another dip above 
8 to 10% leading Bitcoins to around 40k. Gang, gang. Wind crash. Where Lambo? Um, uh, I'm not like calling a crash. That was just what everybody's saying this morning. Every headline's, uh, is it a market crash? Uh, I um clinical trials dot, uh this is sage shows sage therapeutic studies uh study of sage 903 using ketamine challenge where's that challenge at? to a <laughs> that's what it says sage that's what it says no shit is that is that a is that why you guys are so chill i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, so, uh, using ketamine challenge to evaluate electrophysiology. I'm just imagining, like, a, 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 like a, a, like, uh, what do you call those courses where there's, like, ketamine cannons that blast you or something? Uh, yeah, I see, I see, I'm sorry. I see Microsoft. Um, I I I still think the gap fill is valid. I just think that market makers are playing pretty hard. So, did you didn't re-enter? Did you? Yeah, Academy Challenge, but the old sandwich. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, anyway, so to get the the full headline out on on that one, um, they to evaluate electrophysiology, safety, tolerability, and pharmacokinetics in healthy participants. Not yet recruiting, but you can sign up at clinicaltrials.gov. So excited. <laughs> um, we absolutely do. We do. And he used to tell people, he used to tell people to do it. He also, he also lost. He, he lost a million dollars on ketamine, so that wasn't how. So, so, you know, and he literally had this bias, dude. He was like, the market can't sustain. I'm like, do you know who Jay Pal is? <laughs> I. Um, <laughs> do you see Electric Trader? <laughs> oh, that government ketamine. That's what he said. I'm just reading it. That's not the reason. Uh, I wonder what I was getting from cheap. That's the S H F B C because they're like less than ten dollars. I'm actually uh, eyeballing. Yeah. Shanghai Bank. Oh. Um, y'all, I am thinking about risking it for the biscuits uh i kind of really would like to short ups on this retest i don't think this gap has been filled but everything else is pulling back before its gap has been filled i tr i think I'm, i could be wrong but i think that market makers are are well aware that people are trying to play these gaps uh i i don't know this is literally just my thoughts but i, I it seems like they're showing heavy rejections midway through the gap and you're seeing that with microsoft as well so microsoft not quite into that gap still a little bit while uh, a little bit further to go and if it rebounds here uh that would only amplify uh a potential gap fill and then go so um but we'll see Thought today I was going to be deep in the red, not so bad. Nice, good. And I think that's the reason what I kind of mentioned earlier that indices sold off more than stocks did, even though the stocks are that make up the indices, people stole the indices off more. Futures weren't red, 
people sold spy off, people sold QQQ off than they did because of the past few weeks. You've been seeing that some stocks have just sat there and chopped in place while people are buying spy and QQQ instead of buying from individual stocks that make it up. Yeah, those Airbnb puts were a nice start to the week. And then the nice Microsoft scalp, which we just got out of nice and green. Um, I'm happy, guys, because guess what? This is the shittiest trading week historically, period. And if you come out of this week alive and with the account that you have now, awesome. Be calm. Don't get crazy. Let this week pass. Let's get let's get through this week uh, and, and see what... YOLO. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I will see you all later. No, <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh man, yeah, there you go. Astrotech stock slips after F. Oh, I've never even heard of that. ASTC, Astrotech. Do they Astro Earth? Exactly. Those leaps on Dia that you're thinking about, if you're going to take them long, it, so here's the thing. Like the Evergrande situation in China, are you familiar with what's going on there? Me? Yeah, I know. If you're, if, if you're going to take Neo, I'm not there. I would not take leaps to December 2022 unless you're going to go deep in the money, like 10, or 10 bucks in the money. Yeah. Are you familiar with what's going on with the Evergrande situation, see? <clears throat> okay, so remember, Neo is a Chinese company. So if Neo has any bonds that are sitting with Evergrande, then that's a tricky situation. I don't know. You have to go look and see who's holding their, their debt. Oh, that's... that's... <clears throat> okay, so a lot of companies sell debt, right? That's normal. That's how they make money. Okay. Um, or that's not how they, that's how they raise capital to go let's, either expand the company or what else. Let's not. In that situation. Okay. No, go ahead. I was going to say selling debt. Let's not say selling debt is normal. <laughs> I said, go ahead. You're fine. Debt issues. Right? Uh, so that's what they're doing. When, when companies are doing that, it's going to sit on somebody else's balance sheet. But if that company were to default, Chain effect or a ripple effect, it's going to cause, it's going to affect Neo, it's going to affect a bunch of other companies that their debt sits on that company's balance sheet. Ooh. So you, you have to think about that and see, okay, whose bonds does Evergrande hold? And are we invested in any of the stocks that Evergrande um, has bonds for? So I just want to keep that in mind. Um, if you want my honest opinion, Eric, uh, how heavy would you buy the dip on your long-term investments? Then I'm going to tell you what I am doing. I am not buying dips right now. Sorry. Um, that's no, I'm not. Uh, I just leave it at that. I do believe that we are finally getting the, just like a catalyst to the upside. We're getting catalyst to the downside to give us the dip buying opportunities. It is my humble opinion that the market will stay within deviation, right? So I don't think we're going to crash, but I think a correction into supports um, will will likely happen. Now, if I, and this all has to do or has everything to do with the data that comes in towards the end of the week, what what Jay Powell says. Um, but right now it's a mess. And for me, any long positions that I have, I'm more interested in hedging myself. Um, so like I got a lot of Jamie puts. If anybody um has out debt belongs to Neo with Evergrande, then post that in the chat, please, and just tag it. Beyond, beyond, beyond green, green, green. Whoa, that's a big green dingus, my guy. Whoa. Whoa. That's an inverse. Whoa. Whoa. The fuck? Oh, my God. Look at the fake me. He just grabbed um, 18 calls for this week from beyond. 
Um, yo, P damn, that thing broke downtrend with a swiftness. Uh, you got. I was gonna say you have about you have two hours till a new five minute candle. I'm looking at the range. I know this sounds nuts, but I do this sometimes to see like how far like candles like certain candlesticks will move because you'll notice there's a pattern or or like a range in which like beyond will finally like show weakness um yeah damn that's a nice nice breakout on the daily dude uh, of a rising wedge i think you could see 116 uh 25 here relatively quickly uh how expensive are those are they already pretty pricey um 142 right now dog not like 95 okay um, you probably should go closer to mine too if you're gonna play. If they have the news here, uh, let me check. I can check right here. BYND, yeah, uh, uh analyst downgrade. <laughs> that was on Sunday, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was the downgrade to? Um, Beyond me, uh, they lowered the price target from one twenty to ninety five dollars. <laughs> yeah, I I would say if it gets past one fifteen, one sixteen twenty five. I honestly am not. I'm good on I'm good on America or on America. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh God. <laughs> I'm good on Beyond Me. Yeah, you <laughs> I said <laughs> over, bro. I said over. Somebody's waiting for it. <laughs> Potential meat supply chain issues makes alternative meats more attractive. To who? Not me. No, just kidding. <laughs> Beyond yeah. that. So I think there's a lot of people who would definitely be like, oh, cool, I'm not starting to eat fake meat today because that stuff tastes awful. No offense to anybody who's vegan or uh, whatever. No, 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 Nadim, I didn't get in. I didn't get in. I'm not in. I, I, I'm leaving that with heck. Uh, I, I, I love it. It looks great, but I'm also looking at the range. It bounced off 108. And it's going to what in two hours when this next candle opens, I imagine it could handle uh, open around 113, uh, 57 and give you that push to 116. So just keep your eyes on it. Uh, I think Hex in a good call as well. Uh, but like I said, just uh, I think 118 is good. Um, you could even average down on that one if it bounces back down at 113.15. Your premium is not that high. Uh, you probably be able to get it for just as cheap. So. <laughs> I was eating Beyond Meat, and I didn't realize that, like, I reached over, and I bit into cardboard, and I just kept eating it, because I didn't know, you know, I just, I just, I didn't know. Okay, watch, watch uh, Microsoft here, no, the bounce here on Microsoft, watch Microsoft for a bounce, guys. Uh, ooh. Let's, yeah, ooh. Aggressiveness. Oh, man, upstart. I haven't looked at that today. Huh. Wait. Whoa, whoa, damn. Why did I just look at Dollar Tree? I meant to do D A L and I picked in Dollar Tree. Yeah, Dollar Tree just double topped. Or, excuse me, Delta Airlines. Shut your mouth, Garrett. Uh, also, Gat filled. <laughs> uh upstart that's hefty that's a that's a nice uh bounce on upstart dude all right, all right it's it once the gap gets filled let's see where it goes yo delta's pulling back pretty hard break 40 and you're you're gonna you're gonna pull back uh watch pltr guys to go pop to 28 dollars here above uh 2780 
I shared today. I said, um, it's really cheap today. Oh my God, beyond me. Hergen Durgen. Never mind. No pullback in sight. That's okay. Yeah, that's what. Right, what did I just say? Did I say beyond? Yeah, you said beyond. Oh, I forgot, I like forgot what I said after I said it. Today has been one of those days, dude. My daughter, well, like uh, my son slept in the bed last night, and he just finds the, a way to like pin me like against like the wall side of the bed, and uh, I'm not really like a small dude, so it makes for an uncomfortable <laughs> sleeping experience. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, all right. Uh, if you're asking about uh, UPS, uh, I really don't want to take it yet. I want it to fill the rest of the gap. I can't tell if it already did because on the hourly, there's already a wick. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, I'm looking at UPS. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is... Go this week. Uh, I think it might be safer to do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the they're squeezing that one. Uh, this is I don't support that one. I can't. I can't. Uh, Delta broke 40. Delta broke 40. DAL. Uh, what did you take? What's that, bro? Did you take Delta? Yeah. I've got 39s. Okay. Order, Order filled. filled. Thanks. <laughs> Every time. Yeah, wait till he says the order rejected. Uh, oh, Microsoft, baby. Uh, ooh, T dude, I'm sorry, but I hope TMC gets shorted. Yeah. Don't get... You're in? Oh, God, you should have... Uh, oh, I'm not in UPS yet, no. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm looking at UPS right now. I order just went, filled. I just went and entered uh, Delta. Um... And that was more speculatively. That's not, those are really cheap contracts. So I've got 185 here. Uh, I'm looking at October. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I want to get October 15, 180 puts. Um, and I think I'm going to grab one of our, I'm not going to go heavy into this position at all. I'm going to go, I'll be two of those. Okay. Order, Order filled. Two. Uh, October 15th, UPS 180 puts. Um, and then what I'll do is on the rejection, right? So right when it breaks below 187.75, I'll grab weeklies for the 185 strike uh, to go back into that gap. Now, what happens if it goes back up? 190 is my stop loss. Um, like, absolutely. Uh, I'll cut it, no problem. So don't enter a position that you're Daddy. not willing to cut. Yes, go ahead. Lucid's running. All right. Not seeing any grounds. I had a feeling. Uh, if you guys watch uh, Tom Nash, I know there's a couple of you guys who watch Tom Nash. He's he's my second favorite fundamental anal uh, 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 analyst besides uh, Atlas. Uh, he's my first. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's 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 gas with it, you know, um, with no gas fees. Uh, so, um, <laughs> uh. <laughs> no <laughs> <Meet Ron. laughs> yes i am in 39 dollar weekly uh puts for delta and my stop loss for that's probably going to be back a candle open above 40 dollars uh at the moment oh 
Oh my god. Sensor AC Strainer, that's hilarious. Senor. Joe Senior, where he's See, stocks have even up in the house. Wait, did Microsoft like do something and I didn't see it? No, Microsoft left that gap. It's gonna go back up. Oh, look at Delta. Screaming. It's like nope. Upstart. Watch upstart. It just pulled back after filling its gap. If it continues to go below 297.23, this one might pull back. If it goes back up above that 304, we might see some continuation there. So, um, I don't know. You guys, I, I, it might be just me, but I kind of feel, I do feel like UPS might pop here. So I'm just, you know what I'm going to do? 190s. Ooh, those are. So what will happen uh, if this thing starts trending to the upside, y'all, on UPS, I'll play it for the gap fill. Uh, on the hourly, the gap is already filled. That's one of the things that was kind of troubling me this morning um, is whether or not we were actually going to go fill a five minute gap or leave it alone and, and move down. But uh, we are, in fact, going in uh, filling. Uh, we have, in fact, on the hourly filled that gap. So um, I'm still short on UPS. So. Guys, I'm going to enter a, it's a really risky position, but I'm going to keep a tight stop loss. Tesla calls, target 741. Uh, I'm probably going to trim one out at 740. Oh, there we go. We got a nice little pop. What are you in? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. Uh, I, feel, I feel good. I feel for that. I feel Yo, Max R has a giant gap. I love you, Max R. Come on, Tesla. Ooh, upstart. Ooh, look at upstart. Nadim, Nadim is a scalp. Too late to enter. So, yeah, most of what's happening here is going to be pretty fast. Um, and, I like, Delta was a little bit speculative. Uh, again, this one's actually two minutes it, left. It looks like it's bouncing on the 500, but I only got one contract from Delta. Super heavy on it, but I'll hold it. Yeah, I'll hold it too. Um, upstart. How about that one? That one actually looks pretty cool. The Russell show is looking at a screen through. Oh, it's actually holding up. Okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Bounced off its fifteen minute nine day moving average. Uh, after pulling back. I mean, if it holds this price range, it could absolutely hang in there. So, um, and also, I totally agree with you. Uh, oh, Lucid ran. Ah. Yeah, Lucid did run. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to even. It was too late <laughs> for that. Yeah, I told myself on Friday after the rally it had a couple of days. I was like. Pull back a minute into the long again, and I completely forgot. Sorry, right. I'm out of Tesla. Yeah, by definition, if you go look in stock books, uh, that candle on Lucid, that's a that's a big green dingus. So that's what it says in the text. Ancient Chinese candlestick text. I went into the Chinese mountains and somebody taught me that. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, yes, five looks like it's gonna kind of chop. We might kangaroo, y'all. In fact, we talked about that last night. This could be a kangaroo week. I know, but it could happen. It's, it's, you know, kangaroos have families too. Okay. And. <laughs> I think. I actually, to, after looking into Lucid, Lucid and Fov, excuse me, Lucid, Fov, and Tesla are probably 
Uh, I would actually are also throw in um. Uh, shit. Not GP. Um, what was the other one? Solo. <laughs> no, Fisker. As Fisker as the only real, like those will be the brands, American brands. You know, I don't know if it, you know what I really believe. I argue that that I and I would just politely argue that with you because, like, I think that this is a cyclical like this is t this gm ford they've been here forever but they will almost be like the walmart brand no matter oh, what they do you know will always be the walmart brand of evs you know what i mean like and 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 then such their i think prices stock prices will always reflect that like in that that lack of uh innovation or like, like they would really take them to like almost like absorb a whole like ev company you know like nicola and what was it gm you know like to get yeah. like to get that new innovation that new look that new breath of it, like fresh air that's what would could change the a, a company's outlook there but like otherwise i th i really think that they're they're not going to fade away but they're just not going to be the same does that make sense? Or am I just... Yeah. See. I think... Just to scale quickly. To... Like, Tesla, you know, their facilities... Like, I mean, obviously, they improved to grasp the ego. I'm a huge fan of Tesla. Huge fan of Elon Musk. Yeah. The only thing is that they... um. They have the they have the capacity to overnight be like, all right, we're producing only like they're not, they're not going to do this. We're only producing electrical uh, electric vehicles, and we're going to streamline the shit out of everything. They have the money to do that, and they have the space to do that. Right. Um, whereas Tesla, like, it takes them a while to get everything ramped up because they don't have the machinery. They don't have all the the, the dollars available. You don't have to money. You broke in. They, they have to sell. They have to sell shares or issue debt to um hey. to really get things going. You little criminal. How'd you get in here. Yep, you stole it. You, you broke in. Um. Yeah. So uh, and the another well, I guess my counter argument would to that would be. When you, and this is, I don't know this for sure. So if you got anybody works at an auto company, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But when you set up a facility to build a certain car or a certain line yeah. of vehicles, you can't, you can't change that up. Right? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like it's a you're you're going to spend a lot of money change from or from petrol engines to electrical engines or just like it's gonna, it's going to cost a lot of money just to, to make that change. Right, and I think I think that's where you'll either see, like I said, you'll and I think that's why the the Nikola acquisition may have or the Nikola uh, purchase whatever. I think that's what the intention was there was to absorb yeah. something that was already going to potentially happen. It just was pretty shitty in the way that it did. Um, Nikola was former executive at GM. And I think that's why that deal was actually going to like go through. Somebody was getting money in their pockets on both sides. I don't know if you read that anywhere. <laughs> um sorry so real quick guys i just want to throw this out there if you guys didn't really make any trades today or if you're just sitting and watching and like nothing don't just trade because like you feel like look like, just keep watching uh set some alerts we're in ups if you're in ups with me um but uh remember just one thing that uh, a day of no gains is better than a gain or a day of uh, losses. Uh, so we still have the rest of the day um, to continue to to trade and do our thing. Um, hold on one second. Why am I? Oh, I was like, why am I agreeing on that? 
this UPS position. Um, but oh wow, UPS. Hold on a second. I'm gonna have to interrupt my speech. Okay, weeklies. UPS. Let me do. All right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and get a 185. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get. <laughs> 187.50 on UPS now. 187.50. It's at 258. Please pull those up now. If you guys are going to get in the trade with me, this is not as. I'm not going heavy. Uh, I'll grab. Let's see. 258. Uh, let's see it clear this this uh, control here. Uh, 187.63. This these candles right here. Um, let me pull this up. UPS. So these candles right here aren't showing an immense amount of strength to the downside. I want to see there's like almost like a point of control here, right here. Uh, so check that out, that 187.75. So I want to see that broken, and that way we can start heading down to 186. All right, so have those, have those uh, up and ready to go here. Looks like the uh, natural's at 258, mid's at 245. Again, this can be a bounce area, so I'm going to wait and see. Nope, nope, U uh, UPS to the downside, uh, puts. Uh, and I haven't entered anything yet. I'm waiting for that level to clear 187.65. Wow, Microsoft really surprising me today uh, with the uh, go VXX. Oh my God, dude, VXX, wow. Oh my God. Yo. Uh, getting out of my infinity calls from last week, I'll go flip, flip, so it's a loss. Uh, people on, am I going heavy on UPS? No, um, I am entering the position now though. Oh, hold on. 267. I'm grabbing. Oh, hold on one second. Nope. All right. 265. Order filled. Um, and tried to reattempt it hit a day, and it was a huge fail. So um, what I'm trying to do here, uh, the goal of these puts here is I'm trying to uh, pay for the trade that I just took on uh, for the longer strike for the 180 or 185 um, for October. So I'm trying to basically pay for that trade. If we end up cruising down to this target, I have pre-market lows of 186.10, then we should be good to go for... Um, uh, profit taking at that point. Um, so, all right. I'm in a one eighty seven. Why you five puts for? I'm in one eighty. Uh, I'm in one eighty puts for October. Actually, excuse me. Um, this is a day trade for you. You think? Or... Uh, I'm swinging those, and I'm I just added the one eighty seven fifties to the downside, but those are more speculative, trying to uh, kind of amplify that downside here. So, um, oof. 187.50, okay. All right, we're, this is that. Oh yeah, that thing's been running, dude. Oh, wait. Wow, that's got a big old gap. Are you the past people that would have been setting up in the price of the big movie? Somebody, somebody pulling it down, filling up. Oh. Oh, the garbage of me. Hit that 115 target. Oh, dang. All right, uh, stop loss for these weeklies, uh, 
36 or UPS. Spy is trading so choppy right now on that one minute time frame here. Die AL. <laughs> maybe don't, don't maybe we, we shouldn't put that energy on a airline company mid flight. No, I was kidding. <laughs> I was just joking. Um chronic check management leave. Oh yeah, naturally. Uh, 188. Right now, I'm waiting for the retest of the 9 here. Let me go see if I can figure out what's going on here on UPS real quick. Yeah. 38 minutes in this candle right here. Gap build. Down south 186. Uh, yeah, I got you. Um, so... I don't know how the Fed will sign because of ethical reasons. Uh, I think that they propped the stock stock market. I think they were whole hoarding wealth, if you want my honest opinion. I really think that a lot of these people knew that like a shit storm was coming, so better to rack up the racks uh, before they have to basically stop being crooks, um, which inevitably is going to potentially pull that back down. So. No, I'm not down. I'm not down bad at all on uh, UPS at all. Seven percent. What? What's your cost on the contracts? Which one? The the one that I bought. Uh, I've got. Hold on a second. Uh, two forty five. One eighty eight retest on UPS stop loss, like I said, one eighty eight fifty. Hey Dan, um, with all due respect, uh, I know this is probably hard to like. I don't want like anything. I'm just some random dude. You're on YouTube and stuff, but like, if you you're asking someone specifically to give you a penny stock that you should get into right now, you're already setting yourself up to fail um, because you're only getting in because somebody tells you to, and you're not going to know when to exit if we decide to hop off live or you're not able to, like, you're going to be left lost. Um, so I, I, I personally don't um, have any penny stocks right now that I'm watching. Um, I think Atlas has played a couple of them, but uh, right now I'm keeping my position small. We're just trying to get through this week and in and, and the, the day uh, green, which we uh, already have, or already are green. We just want to maintain that greenness. So uh, no offense, I just want to make sure you know that. Um, Look at PRP ads if you're curious, but I'm already green, so. Uh, Camber Energy looks like a hot dog water, so take that with a grain of salt. Actually, hot dog water has a lot of salt in it, so. Um, 188.55 on UPS, y'all. And here's the deal. You guys can cut those weeklies uh, and wait and see if it goes and ref uh, refills that gap on the five, so. Tyler, are you going to bed, dude? Night night. All right, man. Later, Tyler. See you later, man. Yo, look at uh, look at uh, Microsoft trying to go for two ninety five. Dell, that's a I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Come on. Feeling the same way with UPS. 188.71, I think, actually, might be my stop loss there. Oh, shit. 
I kind of want to play the jump on Microsoft, though. Is it really going to break 295 today? Is that really going to happen? No way. Look at it. There we are. Wow, there it is. Yeah. Oh. That's what. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. There it is. Yep. Yeah. It's got 294.65 or uh, 50. 294.50 to go tap off of. Yeah, UPS moves like pond water, so just just uh rock with it. It gaps down though sometimes, so that's kinda nice. Um so you know what really sucks is I last week after we exited Sony, I almost signaled a uh a put for one oh seven. And uh it literally yeah, it grabbed it gapped down so hard. Go with your gut. So no, if if you have yeah, if you have knowledge, like if you know what you're doing or you know how to trade, like you've got like some knowledge behind like the reason, like your gut will will back that up, you know, like you'll you'll feel it and be like, nah, I know I know better, you know. So. Shit, I'm meeting. Oh, you know what, guys? Uh, I am going to cut UPS. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to cut it. Oh, um, you guys should not be badly green or anything, or red or anything like that. Um, all right, here's what I'm thinking here. I'm thinking that we're gonna go see a one a retest of we are gonna go refill that gap, so one eighty nine or basically one ninety. Uh, I'm gonna set an alert on this trend line. Uh, this trend line here, that's your downtrend. That looks kind of like where we're being held down underneath. So, um, I'm gonna hang on to my my uh my log expiration puts. I'm gonna close my weeklies here and I'll re-enter those puts. Um, at the time. order filled. All right, I'm out of UPS. Out of UPS weeklies, weeklies. Oh shit! Uh, uh, financials are getting call flow. Really? Uh huh. And they're like they. Hmm. Let's go look at the flow. Let's see what we got going coming in. I think that would be a good day trade. I don't know if I'd necessarily. I mean, you could swing financials. I just have them. It's nothing. It depends on what you believe tomorrow's gonna have to, what's gonna play out. But it both falls in the financials with the the Fed talk. People are shorting Tesla. PFPS volume is going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pfizer does have high volume, dude. It's trying to go break down, Trin. It broke down, Trin. Never mind. Yeah, uh, that looks pretty good. All right, I got a meeting here in a couple of seconds ago. Um, uh, I'm in Delta still with the beautiful dumpage looking like it's about to go down. Um, I'm in UPS still, uh, that one's probably gonna get down towards the end of the day, so, um, I'll be back on, um, but, uh, for, too late for first solar puts? Uh, uh, you, wow. Yeah? I wouldn't short it now, but damn. What? It's, it's dumping. First solar is dumping. What is First solar. Solar. Oh man, yeah, it just hit a demand zone.
Yeah, that's a big. That's a one oh four to ninety seven dollars. That's a big, big, big bump. That's chop. I think it's chop. Look at that. That's for premiums. That's the one minute, though. That is just the RSI here. Is there a way to restart your trading view? The website. Uh, just refresh it. Oh, you're talking about like what? Delete all your like patterns and stuff? Yeah. Oh, uh, you can't even figure out what it was. There's a setting somewhere you can ask what that'll do it. I accidentally did it a couple of times, literally by accident. I deleted all my chart patterns. No, I just talking about completely like wiping it. All right, um, uh, I gotta get this meeting. Uh, UPS, y'all, remember that target, 190, watch for that rejection there. Um, other than that, I'm gonna average up once we hit that level. So basically reshort the top. You guys are more than welcome to play the upside past 188. Um, you know, do with that what you will, just uh, be careful. Of course, stay light. Um, damn it. Why is crypto going down? Because of China. 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 They say something about um, the China come out this and that about crypto gets that. Um, you know, yeah, agreeing, I think. I, yeah, that. And then um, I, I, I don't want to butcher it, but I'm pretty sure there's more crackdowns on. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. So. Also, if China has all this money problems, I don't know why they keep crushing fucking uh, pro uh, graphic cards. Like, bruh, just like send them to sell them. Just sell them, resell them. Start your own Chinese eBay and resell that shit. All right. Um, I'm out, y'all. Have a good day. Um, DM me if you guys need anything. I'll see you later. Later. Peace. Yeah.